Welcome everybody to Falcon Place Duskers episode number one. We're going to be doing a little bit of revisiting of Duskers over here because we initially played this, if you're familiar with the channel, you'll probably know this, but I initially played this when the game first released and it didn't really go too smoothly for me. The game was actually quite great itself, honestly, even as an early access game when it first released. It's still an early access game, mind you, but when it first came out, I felt it was actually quite polished. There was uh, some issues, however, in the balancing, I feel like not only was it a complaint that I had, but a bunch of people in the Steam forums also had complaints about the game being a little bit too difficult, a bit too random sometimes. So there's been a lot of updates in terms of the balancing issues. So that's all square and done now. But other than balancing as well, they've actually added some new features, which I figure it'd be kind of fun to check out since, you know, it's been a while since we last played this. And even though I enjoyed the game, I honestly felt that we could have done a lot better than we actually did here. So... I am considering here maybe today like four episodes or so, and then if you guys want to see more beyond that point, we will continue it, otherwise we'll wrap it up, but at the very least I think it's kind of really imperative, because I didn't do the game so much justice the first time around, to kind of revisit it and see what's going on, what's new, etc, etc. All that said and done, play game, we will hit P over here. Cory is going to be our towing and our lure, Nate is going to be our generator, so he's going to power up ships for us, and then we're going to have Mouse with stealth already, and gather, ooh, stealth early on is actually quite good. So let's go ahead and board the ship. We have no other systems to add to these guys, so we'll be fine here. Let me go ahead and lower the volume here a little teeny tiny bit. There we go. Okay, so this is essentially how this plays down in case you're new to the game itself. This will be like your map overlay. So we're over here where those um, blue icons are located at. We could actually zoom in here by placing the spacebar button, which you'll, you'll probably want to do if you're doing any moving from one area to the other one. If you hit spacebar again, you'll come into this overview area that gives you an idea what rooms are around, enemies around, etc, etc. So, right now, what we want to do is open up this door. So we'll hit A1. Again, everything is done through commands, which is what's really fun about it. It gives you like that whole feel that you really are controlling every single drone here. So right now, we have opened the first door. Normally, in the very first room, you won't encounter any enemies, so you don't have to worry about stepping out to like a war zone. But, um, you know, down the line, other rooms will have enemies, so you kind of have to be really careful about stuff. Do we have, um, a scanner? I don't think we have a scanner, do we? Alright, so right now, he's my gatherer, Mouses. So, we already found some scrap over here. This is going to be the generator for the other drone. And that's about it, huh? So, right now, we cannot open up any of these doors until we actually power them up. So, we can't do that with Mouse, however. However, Mouse can gather our stuff here, so we'll go into Gather. Oh, you have to type all this, um, hopefully not in caps. Stop yelling, Falcon! And we'll swap over to Nathan, which happens to be our generator dude. So, Nathan, generator. Generator! If I had, like, an 80s hair metal band, I would definitely call it generator. Just a heads up. Like, I can't grow my hair all that long, unfortunately. Like, my hair just kind of, it's weird, like, my hair just le reaches a point where it stops growing. It'll just get bigger and bigger, like, I could kind of, like, you know, throw up in a really weird way, but, like, my hair isn't curly, but it just poofs out instead of growing longer. It's really weird, even though it's not curly, it's kind of like a really weird thing to describe. Anyway, um, so I can't really have a hair metal band because I would not have the long hair for a hair metal band, but if I did, GENERATOR, that would be the name of the band. Anyway, I digress. Um, so as you can see now, we have powered up the entire ship, we have three more rooms to locate into. We know for a fact, based on the schematics on the world map or the universe map, that there was no enemies here, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, a good way to find out if there's any enemies, though, is to have the scan ability, which unfortunately, none of our dudes have scan, which is a problem. I usually like to have scan so I can know what's ahead of me, what room has an enemy or not, but without scan, we're going to be a bit boned here. But hopefully we find one pretty soon, or at least maybe buy one, maybe? I'm not sure. Right now we found, who is this? Sarah. Let's go into info. We found Sarah, who happens to be destroyed. Use swap to exchange upgrades. So let's see if she has any items on her. She's got stealth and generator. Wow, we so we have two with stealth already. That's actually quite amazing. So we'll pick up stealth for Corey, and we have a second generator, huh? I mean, for now we'll just give it a mouse, but um, because Nathan's already our generator anyway. So let's go into swap over here, and let me pick up generator. Okay, so that's done with. Let's have mouse over here open this up. And I'll show you more about the um, advanced commands here pretty soon. We found some more scrap, which is good. We possibly found some more fuel, which is amazing as well. You want to pick up more fuel so you can make more jumps down the line. More jumps will mean, you know, more chances to check out other ships and find information as to what's happening here. I'm opening these up, like, you know, really uncautiously because, you know, we know for a fact there's no enemies in this map. Uh, let's go ahead and gather all in this room. Unfortunately, he's my only gatherer, huh? Yeah. So, and so far, we can't gather with anybody else but Mouse. 
So I might as well come over here as well and do another gather all. Gather all will let you just pick up everything in the map, whether it's fuel, scrap, whatever's collectible, he will do it. So we found no fuel with this one. Normally in the very first ship you'll never find fuel, so that's to be expected. And there you go, we have now completely gone through this first map. We picked up every item here that was available to us. Let me go ahead and open up D3 from all the way back here. And to show you some of the most um, advanced commands over here, this isn't really too advanced, but if you want to like get everybody to, on the exit, if you want to leave, mind you, you have to get all of your drones back on the ship and then, you know, abort the mission. If you don't take them back with you, they'll stay behind, meaning, you no, know, they're lost forever. And that's going to happen on occasion, too. So right now we're going to do navigate all, which means all of my drones will navigate back over to R1, which happens to be our ship. And then on their own, they'll do their own thing over here. We can swap around them. There you go. Alrighty. And now that we did that, mind you, that we got the generator dude out of there, you can see everything's powered down now, so none of the doors would work at this point. You'd have to power up the room to get, you know, access to open up the doors, close them, yada, yada, yada. So, you know, this is kind of like a little bit of a breakdown for newcomers. After this um, ship over here, we're going to basically just, um, you know, play it regularly. But I just want to give you guys a little bit of an uh, introduction in case you're new to this. So we'll hit exit over here, and we're done with the very first ship. No enemies, nothing to really worry about. Just more something to get you acquainted with the game. And there we go. Now, as you progress through other ships, you'll find some memos, some emails, some data. Some of it will be decrypted, some of it won't. And it'll kind of give you an idea as to what the hell happened here in the universe. So, um, it's really cryptic in that regard. So, we already did this one. We have did the Pele 2. Now we have the Z Z0 JID. Maybe it's the Zo. Zo get da 2. Which is the, uh, the current ship is the Justice Rider. That's ours, though. Uh, Zogeda 2, Salvage C, Infestation Types 1, Age 22, Distance 2, we have not visited, it's got a uh, scrap capacity of 50. So over here we'll definitely run into our first enemy. So this will take up a propulsion jump of 2, so now we have 6 right now, so we'll go down to 4 after we make this jump over here, so that's quite fine and dandy. We do right now just want to do some jumps and find some more scrap, and maybe even for more drones as well. Now. We go to our ship configuration over here, and I want to use this more often this time around. The first run that we did in um, Duskers, I did not touch the ship configuration once. Actually, I did, but I never really used the um, upgrades that I got, so that was my bad on that one. And then drone configuration over here. Oh, you could carry up to four drones in a, in a place now? You're kidding me. That's amazing. Was that always a thing? I don't remember. Anyway, uh, apparently four. Good. So, um, you know, I kind of want to leave stealth behind on somebody. I don't think we need two stealths. And I want to be able to pick up some more upgrades that we find along the line. So if we want to pick up more upgrades, we'll definitely need some more room. So how about for Corey over here? Let me remove your... No, no, you know what? You keep that one. Mouse, you lose the stealth. All right, you'll keep gathering generator. Actually, we don't really... We just need... No, you know what? Two generators could be kind of fun. Sometimes ships will be really big, so they'll have, like, multiple power outlets. Two generators could be really, really good. You know what? I'll keep that on you. We probably won't run into it right now on an early ship, but down the line, that could be pretty useful. So we'll make this jump over here, and let's go ahead and board the ship. Let's see if we have any sort of information here. Scanning inconclusive. Infestation types detected one. Hull integrity is good. Um, if the hull integrity is actually bad, Radiation could seep in, which could be a big problem. Radiation, really, really bad. It kind of rushes you a little bit, so you can't really um, strategically make your moves in peace. So you definitely want to avoid that. The log data is going to be completely corrupted, so no information for us here. Let's go on forward. So, for some reason, it's already telling me that we have a drone. A possibility of a new drone that's not actually already destroyed. Mind you, the drone that we ran into the first time around, I didn't take that back with us with tow because it was already broken down. You could only bring... Um, ships or drones that aren't broken down. If they're already broken down, you can't salvage them. You can only take their upgrades in a sense. So, let's go into opening up the first door here. Normally, no enemies always out here, so you should be fine. So, let's go into the overview. We have scrap over here. The door to D10 is also open. But, again, if the door's already open, there's not going to be any danger in there more than likely. So, over here we found a bunch of scrap and also a generator for our other dude. We're not going to use Mouse for that one because Mouse is going to be our gatherer, obviously. So right now we're just trying to get a little bit of a leeway into what's happening here. Remember, there's an enemy in this map, so I'm not sure where he's going to be at. And without scanning ability, we can't find out exactly ahead of time where it's going to be at, so we're going to have to be really careful about it. So for now, you gather all. Meanwhile you do that, we'll have Nathan, our generator dude, come up to... Mm, I guess we'll power this one up here. 
As you can see, Mouse is over here gathering on his own when I was moving and they didn't around, so I really like that a lot. Generator. So we'll power this up here. So now with this, we have a little bit of an insight into R5. R2 has some scrap and a drone. R4 still has some more items for us as well, right? So Mouse, let's have you come over here and gather all. And we move over to Cory now. So Cory's going to be the guy that gets involved with our shenanigans here. Mind you, I should probably swap this over, his items over to Mouse, because the Mouse has more HP, so he'll take more damage and not, you know, be destroyed. So we, we'll do that next time around. Um, so for now... Oh, we found Marvin in there. Marvin! Oh, how do I save you, buddy? Okay. So enemy could be anywhere right now. So here is what we're going to probably have to do. I'm not sure how lore works whatsoever. Like, whatsoever. Let me hit lore. Uh -huh. Lore drop. So you drop a lore somewhere, and then that'll summon the enemy there around to that. Okay. Um, can I? I don't think you can, but can I gather that again? No. Yeah, I know, I know, he doesn't have the gather ability. I was hoping to pick up that lore again, because now I'm worried that... Yeah, see, it's going to be right there the entire time, huh? Well then, here's what we do. Nathan, let's get you off of this generator. This will power down everything here for a while, that's okay. We want you to come down over here, and you hit this one up here with some power. Mouse, out of the way, my friend. So, generate that one. Now then. What's cool is that, remember, we have our boy up there with stealth. So I'm going to close off D10 here for now. And we'll jump up here to Core who has stealth. So with stealth, he should be able to run around undetected. So we can find out a way or another if the enemy is around here. Is there another exit here? Oh, there is. Oh, I have, a, I have a splendid idea, as a matter of fact. I have a really splendid idea. Okay. So, here is what we'll do. We don't want to open up that door because we can't. It's not powered up anyway. But we'll come over here to D10. Mouse, get out of the way. Close D10 again. Now, we want to lure the monster, enemy, whatever it might be, to R6, more than likely, and trap him there. So, the way I'm going to play, or maybe even R5, doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, the way I'm going to play this out is we're going to open up D6. Enemy could be here, mind you. But he's not. I have a feeling he's going to be in there with this um, other drone. That's my idea. Can't see around here. Yeah, no enemy over here whatsoever. Good. So what I'm going to do here momentarily is, since we know there's no enemies here, we want to make sure that we grab all the items before we lure a monster or an enemy in here altogether. So we'll have Mouse do a gather all. And you continue powering this up. Now R5, we're not sure about R5 just yet, so we can't open that up until we're good and sure. You, my friend, navigate over to... What's the room down there? R4? Alright, so you go over there. Close the door behind you if you can, too. You can give him multiple commands, mind you. If I use semicolon, I could have him like move and then close the door behind him as well. I normally don't use that, but you know it's a possibility as well. So there you go. Corey, let's do some stealth action then. Stealth, D3. No enemies here. Okay, great. So now we have now pinpointed where the enemy is going to be at. Um, that's not what I was looking for. There is a command now where it's... Oh, shit. There's a way to get stealth back over here to so turn it off, but there you go. I unstealth it. As you can see, now it's going to go back up to 100%. So you have a limited time that you can't stealth that. But since we know that the enemy's going to be at D8 now, we can now open up this here. As a matter of fact, we just navigate 1 over 2, R5. Really? <laughs> Sometimes navigation can be a bit uh, wonky, and that's a good example of right here. Let's uh, try this out again if you don't mind. There you go. Don't open up D7 to get there, though, mine. Okay. That's one of the things that they've, um, you know, worked on. It, I'm not sure why it's happening here suddenly, but he's not supposed to get stuck on walls like that. But there you have it. Gather all. Corey, let's uh, move on out of the way here. So, we want to make sure that we withdraw the monster enemy over to R6 and then close the door behind him. That's going to be my idea here for now. So, Mouse, since unfortunately you can't maneuver yourself over here on your own, I will have to momentarily just guide you down here so you don't get lost again. So, you come on down over here. And just hang out. Okay. Corey, ready for this one, dog? So here's what I plan we do. There's two ways to work around this. 
As a matter of fact, I think I like the one where you lure them to R5 the most. So, door to D6 is closed. Those uh, dudes are going to be over there on their own. Cool and dandy. So, let's go into Stealth for one. And we'll open up D7. This should look, give us the enemy right now. There he is. We're in Stealth, though, so we should be fine. But he's going to want to come out here. Hopefully. Soon. Yeah, get out here. Um, not sure why stealth suddenly disappeared, but it did. Yeah, it's got destroyed already. That's fine. <laughs> this isn't supposed to happen whatsoever. Did we close the door? Sorry, we closed all the doors over here, allegedly. Assuming the guy that was shooting me right now is um, still in R6, we should be fine. That was, I'm not sure what the hell happened there. I was still in stealth, wasn't I? It was uh, terminated on Cory for some reason. Huh. That seemed to me, usually you stay on stealth until, you know, it's completely gone and then you appear. So, I'm not entirely sure what triggered that one. But, homeboy should still be stuck over there, so as long as we open this up, we'll be fine over here. So, not a really a big deal. Now, we know for a fact that our dude shooting guy is over there stuck in R6, so we can't really affect us anymore. There's an exit over to A2, but it's again, since the monster is there, we'll probably just um, exit through A1 again. So, we're here collected everything. We'll have Cory come on down over here. Oh, we can't open up Cory until we power this up again, huh? That's fine. We'll just have Nathan... Oh, I guess we need generator on after a generator. Open up D10. That's cool. So we'll have Nathan over here just power up this generator over here. This will give us access to the other doors. And we'll come out of this accident and we'll be fine and dandy. That lure right there, basically a waste. But I just wanted to get more comfortable with some of the skills here. So that's generated on now. Perfect. Corey. Open that up. And D5. I need you to tow our friend Marvin. Let's see if Marvin has any upgrades here. He's got tow as well. Okay, that's fine. So, let's uh, do a tow on Marvin. Let's open up D9. And now we navigate all to R1. And there you go. That's going to be the second ship taken care of. And since we took damage on Corey, not a big deal. Now that we have Marvin, we'll probably just swap on over to Marvin until we have enough scrap to actually heal him up. Oh, really? Okay, let's just move you out of the way there. Mouse, get in here. Are you in there now? All right, there you go. A1, exit on out of here. And there you go. Two ships done. Uh, we've learned a little valuable lesson about stealth here, which is unfortunate, but, you know, so be it. Uh, mistakes will be made. I'm still kind of relearning the whole process here, but I feel like we're doing fine so far, and I feel like I have a better grasp on the commands now, so that should help us out here going forward. We're going to wrap it up here for episode number one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. Support us mean a lot. Stick around for episode two, which should be coming out pretty soon. As I mentioned, we'll do like four episodes here today, and um, if you guys want to see more beyond that point, we will. Otherwise, we'll wrap it up, but I just want to give you guys a little bit of a revisiting and see what the um, updates are going to be all about. I will catch you next time.